Blacktop Nation. It's brought to you by one person, one person only. It is time for a woman's touch with Miss Erica Kimberly. Ma'am, you may take it away, 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 away. All right, guys. Play some good music because we're going to get deep. Away, away, away. I have been curious to know how many of you guys have been um, put in a position where your growth is most definitely eliminating people from your circle, mm. your square, your triangle, rectangle, whatever it is. How many of you have been in a position where obviously you, you were willing and able to put your personal growth first, and as you did that, you realized that, oh, my God, I am in conflict with family. I'm in breakdown with friends. I'm losing friends. And how many of you have been comfortable with the revelation after the fact? Who's ready to share first? It's funny that you mentioned that. Uh oh. Because that has been my journey for the last couple of months or so. And I was reading a book last night, and it said, on, on your road to success, you always have to remember that a butterfly cannot relate to a caterpillar. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. You flying high. It can't keep up. That's real. Not even just that. It just puts me in a place. I'm in a place of elevation, and some people are not in that same place, and I can't expect them to understand or even comprehend the, the things that I'm going through right now because we're not in the same place. And that's not saying I don't have the same love for you. I'm just saying I'm in a different place, and some, the conversations aren't the same. Mm. Yeah. I, I second that because I've seen a lot of folks fall off by the wayside as I elevated and pushed myself. And, you know, with me, I had people around that was looking for, I guess they were hanging so much on the potential, but not to see me do great, but to see what great could happen to them on the way of me being great. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Have you any experience of elevating and also realizing that my elevation requires an isolation? Uh, I feel like we've all had people we used to run the streets with or, mm. you know, act ratchet with or act mm -hmm. hood with. And then you, you get to a point, you might have kids or you just right. get mature or you change careers and you feel like I got to change my life or anything, you know. You might get saved in the church or whatever. All right. But you... At that point, that's a there is a separation of not even people, just that person. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And because you're not the same person anymore, you can't exist in that environment. So it's not conducive. Mm -hmm. So it's just a you, it's, it's a natural separation. And usually, people it's not really conflict because people kind of respect it. And people can kind of see it. You know, at first they might say, "Oh, he got a good job now. He think he better than us." Or, yeah. but for the <laughs> most part. Like, if you actually, like, make it, like, make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the separation don't look bad if you're actually doing good. Mm. Right. Like, mm. it looks bad mm. if, mm -hmm. like, you like, oh, you think you're better than us, and mm. then all of a sudden you're a failure out here. Mm. Like, but when you're doing what you left to do mm -hmm. and walking that walk, like, it's, it's respect. When I see the people, the guys I used to hang with back in the day, 
it's a it's a real respect there. It's not like oh this nigga think he you know it's mm-hmm. yo I see you out here doing your thing, bro. You got the cruises going on. You got the women out here dancing. You DJing now. You working for yourself. They see it. But if I was struggling Ooh. and wasn't mm-hmm. making it, mm-hmm. when I see them, I might have my head down. You know what I'm saying? And so because of that, I think that's what creates that those moments. You know that those awkward moments. But if you're doing your thing. People, they don't understand it, bro. They got to respect you. Very true. Piggyback off of that for me, Lambo. What, um, what's your experience? Do you find like, what he's saying is true? Like when you're doing good, can't nobody tell you shit. They only bomb. They know not to come around you. I be all the way real. I think that to a degree, but. Our growing shit hasn't really been smooth with me, with my dealings, I guess. I get the backlash for outgrowing people too fast. And the thing is, I have been a person who has been all around the board so many times from destroy, rebuild, Mm. that people get caught up with that. And they want to take whatever I'm building with and become part of that picture. Woo! Come on now. The issue you know with it, that Sherry, is. You better talk that. You better have that shit on tonight. <laughs> Scorpio <laughs> Corner is lit. <laughs> the issue with that is I don't get distracted by who's around me. If you're not with Come me on. and you're not living it at that same time mm-hmm. I'm living it, yep. then... Don't get mad when you feel like it's a cold shoulder your way. Mm. Because at the end of the day, it's not really a cold shoulder. It's a mm-hmm. Shane on his grind. Mm-hmm. I get tunnel vision mm-hmm. a lot of times. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm that person where people, I'm going to be honest, people get mad because I don't reach out to them daily. And my whole issue is, mm. yo, if we good on the last note, no, I'm back to my grind. Yeah. Can, can I, can I, I'm not that friend. Yo, I, 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 not. I'm sorry. Like I, I'm, I'm a Capricorn, and, and mm. people think that we are this, we this type of way. But literally, when I get in my feelings, I don't want to deal with nobody. I don't want to talk to nobody. Facts. I don't even want to look at nothing. I got, like leave me alone. Sorry. That's just no. That's it. Just leave me alone. I got older and respected my personal space way more than the people oh, around it. God. Because Let me jump in. my time got taken advantage of too many times. I'm just a solo. I, I sometimes I'd rather just be alone and not bothered. Phone off. Don't come to my house. Bingo. Like, listen, I had one of the realest conversations a girl could have with her mother. I realized, like, damn, I am the manifestation of my mother because she's a person where she got a lot of, you know, her solid good friends are her solid good friends, right? But she is proud to say, don't nobody really know me. I, you know, you know what I want you to know, and and I have my friends that I can go to for different stuff. I've always been about my own because, you know, just she's a Gemini, by the way. But I'm like, damn, I can receive that because I'm like, I've I've lived a life where I've tried to be, no, not tried. I have been open, honest, authentic, to a degree that was a little detrimental, right? You kind of put so much of yourself in a group or friendship where it's like, they be like, oh, you know, you almost put too much out there too soon. Like, they really can't receive it. And you knew in the back of your mind, like, look, it's it's one of two ways. Either you like it or you don't. And so you're such an authentic person that you're willing to put yourself out there. There is such a prize and, and um, pride about, a prize and a pride about secrecy. Ha- keeping a little thing to yourself, mystery. Everybody don't got to know you. You do not have to check into the group chat every day. Like, I kind of learned that the hard way. And I realized that that was a part of my elevation. Understanding that it's okay for you to be a little bit selfish about your Mm. dreams, your goals, your aspiration, your relationship, Mm. your life, your kids, your motherhood. Everybody is not in a position to know. Do you you see what I'm saying? It got to be elevation, though. You see what I'm saying? Because, yes. like, even with celebrities, when Steve Harvey had his whole family come on there for his birthday or a few years ago, yeah, they all admitted to pressuring him to, like, you're not, you were not in our lives, you weren't doing this, and to being on stage apologizing because now we understood what you were doing. You were setting us up 
to be living the lifestyle we live. Now you pay for my, my wedding, a uh, $40 million wedding, and we, we all live in a mansion now, and we get it now. But if, there, if right. there is no elevation, that bitterness that they felt would be this that much bigger. And he would he would he would feel it on the back end, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when you step away to elevate, you better elevate. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And see those friends that fell by the wayside will validate your elevation. Correct. Yeah. I agree. Exactly. They'll start agree. creeping on back. Correct. Up in here. Correct. Hold up, yeah, man. Correct. Hey, you know, no. I always supported you. Always. No, 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 no. Just on the strength of damn, you didn't see me special enough. You didn't see enough of you and mm. me That's to life. give me the space and time Woo. and energy that I needed and the grace and dignity. Instead, you wanted to be fake, a hater, shady, manipulative, um, um, subliminal, whatever the fuck it was. You wanted to be that as opposed to to seeing yourself in me and giving me the space I needed to just do me. Yeah. You also yeah. have to realize that people people don't look at it like that. They look at it like, oh, you think you're better, you better than, than me. me. No, bitch. You think I'm better than you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You think I'm better than you. This ain't a competition. Dare no. I say and you, not. And, exactly. and I think that's that's the sad part about it because as much love as you can show and, and give and surround these people with, when when you when you fall distant, people forget that you have other things going on outside of them. They always think that it's surrounded around them and they forget that I have a family, I have a career, I have a dream, I have everything else outside of you. So every time I step back, you assume that it's something involving you. Yes. Everything's not fucking personal. Yeah. And that come from them kids who ain't get no hugs, bro. Oh, God. Hey, Miss Pecan, hey, Miss Pecan on Instagram said uh, Erica got a voice like a pastor. Powerful voice. Oh, God. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Y'all could have been a first lady if you, I wasn't you out here. No, I ain't nobody. I could have been a first that lady. That ain't no lie. Could have been a no first lie. lady. <laughs> Don't get that me started. That ain't no lie, sis. Dare I but say. No, um, oh, go ahead. What's a good party if there are no drinks? Better yet, imagine turning up and not having to pour your old troubles for once. Or better yet, someone else's. Now that may be a big of a problem. Well, Bougie Bartender is a licensed and certified mobile bartending service that services any event, big or small, such as bridal showers, weddings, baby showers, corporate parties, and so much more. She also specializes in making virgin or non-alcoholic beverages for minors as well. If you need a bartender for your next event, call 804-855-8787. Again, that's 804-855-8787. And also check her out on Instagram at bougiebartender underscore brooke. That's bougiebartender underscore b-r-o-o-k. Shout out to Bougie Bartending, proud sponsor of the wildest radio show on the net, The Blacktop. Cheers. Dare I say not growing or, excuse me, outgrowing people yes. is unhealthy in a sense. Uh, like, a mad, okay, so uh, imagine imagine uh, yourself being at 30 and you still hanging out with the same people you was hanging out at 20 <laughs> with. Or you was 15 with. And when I say that, there is some friends yes. that grow with you. But imagine all of those relationships and being able, every bridge that you've ever had and created, imagine being able to manage that daily. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. People don't grow the same direction. You get 30 years old, and this person still acting like he's 23. He still got the mentality of a 23-year-old. Still running the streets like a 23-year-old. You could have had kids, okay. and that person's life isn't the same way. At 31 years old, so, I need a bitch working the corporate ladder. I, I need a friend I'm gonna be real. At 31, I need a friend doing this. I need to be able to learn mm -hmm. from my, my circle. Your friends are who you 31, are. 31, 32, 33 years old, some people are still looking for you to be a parent outside of a friend. Okay. And that's real. That's just real because not everybody has had that type of love. Once you have a deep friendship and y'all are locked and you feel like that's what it is, they look at you for certain things. But once you elevate yourself and sometimes you you don't have to leave them, but they choose to leave themselves, shit just ain't the same. And then it feels like a parent abandon, abandoning a child. And as you elevate, though, like you start looking at your, your people around you a lot differently. Like, what are you really here for? Mm -hmm. Are you here because you really believe in me? 
or are you here because you want to catch some of these benefits that come with me? I definitely got to a point where, and this is where I knew, I said, okay, this is the point where you needed to have stepped out of the relationship. When you were able to tell the group of friends, like, look, when I'm ready to drink, smoke, chill with y'all and watch ratchet shit on Monday nights, I'll let y'all know. As opposed to like, like, and you know, of course, a group of friends would take that offensively because in my mind, I've categorized you as just the ratchet bitches that I want to cut up with. Yep. You're not friends that I can learn from. You are really not friends who but I'm going to take into Don't my let next you season. get a new man because it's him. Or a new female because it's her. When you stop wanting to spend so much time with them, they blame it on, this, on the significant other or because you think you got a man now or you got a girl now. You don't want to hang with us. You don't know us no No, more. I have another facet in my life that I have to equally spend my time yeah. amongst not only just y'all. These people sound like, they sound like more so people who are not friends with you, but friends with the good time that y'all have. Very true. Friends, friends with of, your energy. Friends of the occasion. Friends with your energy. Very true. And, and That's a good way to put it. Uh, I only see it that way because I am, I do got to say, I am fortunate enough to say that the same friends I've had since 18, I'm still cool with them Facts. today. Facts. Today, because we have learned to, we learned what we dislike about each other yes. and we never cross a cross certain line after that. I'll, I'll keep it that. real with you and say, hey, bro, you doing too much on X, Y, and Z. Yes. Or somebody will tell me, yo, Shane, you the barker of the group. You always try to lecture somebody about mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. You know, and it ain't the timing for that. Mm -hmm. I understand what it is to have a certain flaw at it and timing in place, but we never cross it where we disrespect each other. I never use it against them or their flaw to somebody else who comes in our circle. You know, so it's about how you uphold your friendship overall versus the world. Erica, at, plug in the, uh, they asking about your Martin jacket. Plug in the website. Y'all better stop playing. <laughs> Y'all done got to start uh -oh. now. She done took the headphones about to do a on. whole model walk. In a 90s kind of world. <laughs> dot com. The Martin jacket. Hilarious. In the 90s we have them in green, uh, black, red. Damn, 97 in was a good year. In a 90s kind of K I N D A <laughs> world.com. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> right. I heard it. In the 90s kind of world.com. <laughs> Elevate um, your style. But no. <laughs> Piggybacking off of all of this, I'm so with you guys because I got to a degree where. My solid, tried and true friendships have definitely been 15 plus years, right? I've, I've had a little trial and error with um, newer friends in my early, late 20s. But I think the issue with that and what I know now that I didn't know then is like, I cannot befriend a group of girls at one time. One of y'all bitches at a time, please. Because A, I'm a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know me. And that's what I told them. I'm, yeah. like, I'm a fucking lot. Either you're gonna receive me well and you're gonna be cool, or you're gonna be like, this bitch is this, she thinks she's this, that, no, the other. Yes, and you're gonna have to go no where lies back there. You know what I'm detected. saying? No lies Straight detected. Up. So it's like, we I'm. It, it, <laughs> and I think no. that's because no, I know who I am strong. as a person. You're just though. strong, Eric. Like, like, I'm, I'm, just extra, I'm my extroverted self. Like when I'm out in public and I'm around others and y'all make me feel good, I'm be like, all right, cool. Nah, this is you the crazy bitch you finna get. You but you know what I'm saying? When I go home, it, like I swear, if I'm at home in my own corner, you would never know. Like I'm just an introvert. I'm to myself. Out in public sometimes, if I don't know my scene, I'm like, be quiet. Just look around, observe. Hush. Say nothing. <laughs> Hush. You know what I mean? <laughs> but if I know you and I feel comfortable around you, you will get my most exuberant self. But I've learned to over the years, you gotta, you know, just be mindful of who you are as a person. You kind of have, have to have an awareness of how people receive you and then um, know who you are because there is a certain comfortability that comes with your elevation and being able to walk into a room, be comfortable in who you are and owning that shit and walking out like, oh well, either you liked it or you didn't. Yeah. Do you feel like you're there with when it comes to your elevation and being able to live with your true self? So what, what would you want someone who's a friend of someone who is elevating? What would you want them to understand? Oh, um, either get on board or get away. Hmm. Let me ask this. Either understand or diminish. Hope. Who takes it? Who takes it? Once you realize that you've outgrown somebody and you actually have to express it to that person, or maybe you don't, who has taken it harder, the man or the woman? Because I know we have both have out, outgrown. I've outgrown a woman. I've outgrown a friendship with a man. 
You get what I'm saying? So within your experience, who is taking it harder? Do you mean uh, like somebody you're dealing with or do you mean like friends in total? Or I mean, it could, both. It, could be, it could be both. Because honestly, okay. like, uh. to, when you outgrow something, you can outgrow a friendship just as well as a okay, relationship. Okay, hold on, hold on. I outgrew a Scorpio male. Here we go. He... <laughs> 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 You're welcome. However, he took it. I don't know because Come I don't check on, for that Scorpio <laughs> corner. But I do know this: this is the year where he realized, like, damn, she really outgrew me. That's what I feel like. So, welcome to the real world, Scorpio. Step your game up. <laughs> now, uh, you know, um, you know. I have also outgrown a group of friends, a group of girlfriends, and it wasn't that I had outgrown them at the time. We just got into a really bad spat where I hadn't healed from some shit, and I had. Basically, I bled all over them, like in ways that they did not deserve. Ooh, and I knew oh. sitting in therapy, taking Prozac and did, reading my Bible oh. and literally crying at okay. night. I knew I said, damn, the just the simple fact that this demonic entity could possess me around these group of girls lets me know I cannot stay here. I have to grow. So I was ready to look. Let me say my forgiveness. I'm sorry. This will never be right. This can never be made right. But I'm out. I had to give that whole speech knowing that I'm not really going to be friends with y'all going forward. Please take this apology because this is the only thing I can do right now to make amends. <laughs> so you're talking about outgrowing your motherfucking self and knowing like yourself with these group of girls you have outgrown? The girlfriends are harder. Amen. That was I my can't. answer. Why would you? Man, go to sleep. I was, I was paying go to sleep, man. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> you looking like Ricky Smiley. Yo, oh, everything. The grandma. But they look Oh, oh everything. That's how all the ushers at my grandmother church look. I swear to you. That is crazy. Well, I appreciate that, baby. That's all right. I love y'all. All right. That's good. That's good. That's yeah. good lessons. Good lessons. Yeah. You know. Word. Well, I like that, lady. Don't nobody be comfortable in there. Evolving. So I guess the summary to this is evaluate your camp. Evaluate your circle. Hey, camp. Because yo. <laughs> because I, I guess a true friend is supposed to support you and, and as far as push you to continue to elevate. Bingo. Not exactly get in the way like of the church your elevation. People do. And a true friend is yeah, always my. focused on elevating themselves. <laughs> because we are only as good as, you know, a friend as we are to ourselves. So for real, for real. If you're not elevating yourself as a person, how can you be a good person or a friend to another somebody else? I feel like a lot of people that's listening to this video or on YouTube or watching, listening to it live, a lot of times you don't know which person you really are, right? Mm. Right? That's so the you, problem. You're listening to this thinking like, yeah, my friend. No, you the friend we talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, People don't know who they are, like, you know. Yo ass. Like, Ain't like, no good gonna you come to fucking. you. <laughs> like, it's so funny. We all can watch a movie and everybody's picking it up like, that's me right there. I no, it's not. Do that. No, you would exactly do that. You did that shit last week. <laughs> <laughs> no, you the crackhead. you Jafar. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody think they move faster when they watch The Lion King. No, motherfucker. Definitely Yo Scar. You're Scar. <laughs> no, you're t that's why I was about to say you One of You're Simone ass. <laughs> Your Puma is tomorrow here. <laughs> if I was a grown nah. dog. <laughs> you the damn slug they ate. <laughs> the grub. The, the, the no, nah, nah, you Nala. We see you in the beginning and the end. That's yeah. the fuck it. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> oh, Rafiki looking Come at back him. to Pride Rock. Kashkazana, <laughs> squash, but It's like people don't really know like where they really are like in their life. It's so crazy. I better respect the Lion King. Yes. It, you know, you know what I think about it. You talk about the come up. Long to the king, to the king of the ring. Act like it raised us. The movie, uh, <laughs> the best man. Yes, and I love that. The we reason why people didn't movie. catch on to the actual what was going on with the book, because people thought they were different characters in the book than they actually were. Uh, okay. So, not to the end when they really probably putting it together, like, oh like, snap, you're the hoe. <laughs> like, but the whole time, did you, how do you not know that you're the hoe and you're the hoe? You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't know. Like, it's so and crazy. Listen, like, some of y'all bitches is I the mean, villains in other people's story. I, like, exactly. Like, let I it live. Some shit last week, but I didn't think they was. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You got to listen. Let me tell you something. Hold on, hold on, because while we on it, stop trying to control the other narrative. Like, sis, 
You're the villain. You know you was fake. Right. Let it be that. Mm -hmm. That's my experience with you. Don't text me talking about something. Why would you do this? Because according to your whole facts, we didn't put up your whole facts. And right here on 1026. <laughs> okay. You got to let yeah, that shit no. go. <laughs> Use a hoe. Oh <laughs> well, shout out to I'm that. just saying. <clears throat> That's great. It is. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, we're well, go, go, go ahead, Sugarfoot. That, that's that's epic woman's touch material. We have all been touched here. Tell them yeah. where they can legally touch you at on Instagram and Facebook. Touch me with sanitized hands. <laughs> <laughs> touch me in the morning. <laughs> Ooh, touch your phone with sanitized hands and find me at Erica Kimberly underscore at Instagram. And um, don't even look for me on Facebook. I ain't spying at nobody on there. I got to get back on Twitter. Hey, look, they, on Instagram, they said you got to own your wholeness. Oh, your wholeness. Is that what they said? Yeah, own that. your wholeness. Damn, who out there being a hoe on Trademark Instagram? Trademark that shit, sis. Ain't nothing right. wrong with that. Okay, no. Trademark your wholeness. All right. Instagram. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag hope. <laughs> y'all go make sure y'all go follow her, man. It's Erica Kimberly. You got some fans on here. Wait, 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 wait. You said that too close to what the <laughs> was talking about. Wait, hold on. Right? Like, who the fuck is the hoe? Yeah. Wait. wait. Do we have a tour back here that I don't know about? Because who the fuck is the hoe? You see Casper? Oh my honest. No, right no, 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 no. I'm saying you got fans on here. I'm oh. just saying go follow her. Okay. They love you. That thing. didn't make it love no your, fucking better. They love your personality. We were talking about your it. jacket. For him? They're not calling you a hoe. <laughs> First of all, I'm good and taken. You'll see him in about two pictures, and then one is blocked, <laughs> or blurred. Okay. But um, yeah, that was weird. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> shout out to that touch. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our video. Now, if you don't mind, can you do us one more favor? Hit that subscribe button and also tap that bell notification. That way you're alerted about all of our live content, our live episodes, behind the scenes information, also live interviews with some of your favorite guests, and plus many more right here on Blacktop TV. Also, if you need more information about the show, follow us on Instagram, the Blacktop. That's D-A-B-L-A-C-K-T-O-P, and you know me. Ha! I'm a poet, ain't he, though? I rhyme all the time. And that's about it. <laughs>